Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Starting this video kind of late in the day. Have not gotten myself ready because I knew I was going to declutter today. So I'm going to get right to it. It's actually 3 o'clock. My kids are going to be home from school any minute. I'm working on the computer and actually I've been chatting with a whole bunch of you, which has been fun. Um, but I wish my comments were back and they're just not. So find a way to chat with me, whether it's through Instagram, DMs, that kind of thing. Because I love chatting with you guys. I really hope they get it back soon, but I don't know when they're going to. So... The reason why I'm going to declutter today is because I am in charge of an activity tomorrow night for church and I've challenged all of my friends to declutter. And not only have I challenged them to declutter, small or big, I've challenged them to bring their stuff that they're willing to get rid of and we're all going to look through it, see if there's anything in there that we need that other people have brought. I'm going to take everything to goodwill. So. I am going to take the challenge upon myself, even though I clutter and clean and that kind of stuff all the time. When I came up with this idea, I started looking around my house and I saw stuff that I just, I don't need anymore. It wasn't making me happy and actually like I'm looking at things right now up there and it's just not, I need to get rid of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to film a whole bunch of the cleaning and that kind of stuff because it's really like random things in random places. So I'm going to kind of show you a few of the spots that I'm going to kind of pick to declutter from and then I'll kind of show you along the way what I've collected and what I'm going to get rid of and maybe if I've cleaned and organized something I'll show you that kind of before and after. So let's just jump right in. You will maybe see my kids today. I don't know. It's been raining and really cold outside so I don't know if they're going to play here at the house or not. We'll just have to see. I like to think that they like to be here but they like playing out in this little corner in our neighborhood a whole lot more. So I don't know if they're going to be in the video today or not. We'll see. So let's just jump in and go and declutter. All right so I'm here in my craft room. This is my craft shelves. There are actually two Ikea shelving units. Actually there's three of them. Can you come over here? You can see them. There's one here, there's one there, and then this guy is turned sideways on top of the other two. I have a lot of craft supplies. I don't know if I'm going to get to these buckets today. I might. There is stuff in here I've been wanting to get rid of. I don't think I'm going to get to all of them, but I might pull out the ones that I know of and get rid of some stuff in those. It's not going to be a complete overhaul, but the idea came because of this stuff up on top of here. I'm going to keep the picture frame, I think, just because I like those pictures, but I'm going to get rid of that and sign and this little craft that I made years ago. I don't need to keep angel wings, but I am going to see if someone wants that little garland up there. That's where I'm going to start. And then the next little area that I'm going to work on is this little hidden gem down here. It's all my electronics, and they're in one or two different bins that don't really fit. I've got another bucket right here that I'm going to see if they'll fit into better and then I can see what's in there and that kind of thing so it'll work better and then I'll be able to donate one or two of the buckets that are under there. All right so I've got this bucket. It's actually going to be pretty heavy and it's got all my camera equipment in it. I've got extra tripods, my electronic little travel bag here. We've got our GoPro and another Nikon camera here. It's actually this camera here which I don't know. I don't like keeping boxes but it, this one has like a bunch more of the supplies in it. I'm gonna get a lid on this guy and then I've the kids are home from school. So then I found all these like coloring books and sticker pads and dry erase and I don't need them anymore so I'm gonna donate those. Okay so then you can see under here I've got this all cleaned out. This is just extra copy paper that's on top of there. I can't actually find my mic that used to go on my old camera so I gotta find that for that case. Then these are just my bins that go underneath here so those are all organized and now I'll be able to put my little electronic bin right there in that corner. You guys I love a good bin setup. I know this is all like totally tacky and it doesn't look good but I love knowing things are in the right place and then I can find them when I need them. All right you guys I'm kind of going at it. I'm going in for this pile right here. It's a secret little spot I don't talk about but I emptied one whole bin and I've emptied half of this one so the other empty one down there and then I've got a whole bucket of stuff out there. It doesn't look very big from a distance but I'm in a hurry because the kids are going to be home from school and so I'm going to go through this little pile here and then a couple of my craft buckets before they see what I'm going to get rid of.
Okay, so I'm at a stopping point now. I've got some decorations and stuff in this bag, as well as in here, and an empty bucket without a lid. But I've got some decorations, some ribbon, a pom-pom garland, that little clementine garland that I made for baby shower. I've got a whole bunch of these letters that I got from like those $4 grab bags from Michaels. An empty bin, a binder, and then a whole box full of coloring books and workbooks and notebooks. And then this one as well, some of those kid craft kits. Get rid of all that. So I have this little computer case that I don't need anymore. And then that is all trash. I also quickly went through the shoes and a few hats from the little storage closet right there. And I'll don donate some of the shoes and our messy shoe area. Despite what it looks like, I think I have these shoes kind of all nailed down. Chelsea doesn't want these shoes anymore, but they're perfectly good for Ashley to use. So I'll just have to save on save those. So I think I've gone through all the shoes. So I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff that isn't gonna be good for summertime. Oh, actually this is what I was gonna throw into the donate bucket. I don't need these sandals anymore. I've got two pairs that are identical to those ones, but I also got a new pair last year. So I don't need those sandals anymore. So like I said, I kind of went through and got ready for summertime. Got a lot of our sandals all ready to go and kind of already done the sizing on a lot of the shoes and someone is a shoe mess. That would be Jason. <laughs> and here's my little buddy. Are you so tired? Lazy. Oh, you admit you're being lazy. This school is so hard. No, we're really tired. You're just really tired? From school. From school? Yeah, so you're just having some downtime, right? Should we go get Chelsea from Running Club? She only has two more running clubs. Can you believe that? So this, one. this one and next on Thursday, and then she's done. I <laughs> know. You want a little play date after school, don't you? No, I don't. I want to be by myself. I wish she had more. Oh, you're a stinker. Get your stinky socks off of me. Ew! Okay, so I'm kind of a hot mess, but I don't have time to shower before I go get Chelsea. So I might just get Chelsea and get some... Should we get some kids' meals on our way home? Ashley? I'm tired. I don't really want to make dinner. My girl, one of them has an activity tonight at church. The other one is probably out with her friends. So I'm gonna play lazy for dinner tonight and probably get them a kid's meal. So Chelsea will probably be really tired herself. I might try and find some more stuff to declutter, but that's a pretty good pile to take. I might go through my closet and get rid of like winter stuff that I didn't wear. That's actually not a bad idea. I know someone else is bringing clothes to this thing, so it might not be a bad idea for me to go through clothes as well. So, Anyway, tired, I wanna be done. But this is a pretty good pile to get rid of. And let me just show you my office really quick because it's kind of all put together and it's nice. All right, so I cleaned out behind my chair. That little computer case was underneath there. That's a paper shredder and a paper cutter and the garbage. So that's all cleaned out, which I like. This is all cleaned out underneath here, organized. Those buckets down there are all stacked up. I just have like the extra boxes. I don't know, maybe I should put those in the garage. Everything down here is just cleaned up. It's just really nice. I still have these bins right here. Those are for my brother-in-law's product that we do for him. And then I got rid of a lot of stuff in these buckets. It just doesn't look like it. I sorted through a bunch of them. I didn't do all of them, but I did the ones that were driving me crazy the most, like the kids toys, supplies, and that kind of stuff. And then I cleaned off that top shelf up there. So either I need to redecorate it or just have it get be completely empty and take down that picture frame up there, so. All right, so we have Chelsea home. Chelsea, say hi. <laughs> and I thought I would tell them a story and at the same time I tell you guys a story. And don't mind me, I really am going to shower as soon as I tell them this story. And the reason why I want to tell both of you this story, one, because I think you guys will find this little entertaining, and two, I need to teach my kids a lesson really quick. So last night, we were here with a friend of ours. He was, our, our bishop was over here last night. We were kind of just chatting, and it was about 10 o'clock. It was a little bit late, and we're sitting on the couch, and let me show you kind of how it happened. Hang on. Okay, so Chelsea, you pretend like your dad. Turn around and face the couch. Oh, I'm dad. <laughs> Okay, so dad was sitting down here on the floor. I was up on the couch and our friend was on the other side of this couch right here. Right here. And all of a sudden, here move Chelsea. There's, there's not dad a saw mouse. A mouse. It crawls out from under crawls, the couch. Out from under here. And Back it up. crawls into here. Yeah, it crawled into the fireplace. 
Dad, Dad flipped, flipped out, right? So Jason like freaked out. He opened up the little flue to the fireplace and kind of looked in there and he saw it like scamper away or whatever. And then he turned on the fireplace. He's like, let's just singe it. Anyway, I don't think he did, but he turned on the fireplace to kind of keep the mouse from coming back in. The back side of our gas fireplace probably does have a hole for the gas intake valve to come through. And so that's how the mouse got into the house. And then we started pulling and looking at the couch in the crevice that we saw the mouse go into or whatever, come out of, and we saw little mouse trappings. And so we just couldn't go to bed. Our friend left and we just couldn't go to bed without like pulling the couch out. So we have a huge section wall. This all, whole thing is all, all connected, but you have to detach it from this little corner right here. This one? You have to kind of lift up the couch and then you can pull it apart. Yeah, kind of like that, Chelsea. Okay, so this is where I'm telling the kid the lesson for the kids. So we pulled this whole couch apart, the cushions and the couch completely away from the wall. And I really wish I had grabbed my camera because you guys, this is thanks to you guys, the entire couch underneath all of this, it wasn't filled with mouse pooping, poops or anything like that. You're getting all nervous. It was filled with granola bars, fruit snack wrappers, Cheerios, chips. I it was me. Oh, it's all you guys. I don't like the granola bars. Oh my gosh, let's pretend like we don't eat snacks. I don't. Those yogurt wrappers, I think we picked up about 10 yogurt wrappers down in that they corner. Just throw them in the corner. They do, no, it's ridiculous. I don't. There's a little crack here. Because this back up. The yeah, there's a little space yeah. down in here. And it goes all the way back to the wall. Yeah, so they like fill that with junk. They just put. Okay, but here, there's more to the story. There's more to the story. Let me tell you guys, as I tell the viewers. So we pulled out the couch. Some of you that have been watching our channel for a long time, you kind of know, actually, no, let me go get. So you know that I lost my wedding ring a couple months ago. Actually, I lost it in October. So I lost my ring back in October. And I looked everywhere. I only take my ring off like, and put it in two different spots. And so I had lost it and then I found it. I found it in a pair of shorts when the sun finally came out this season. And so that was really amazing. But then I lost it again. So in between that time frame, I went ahead and bought this little dinky ring online. It was like $10. I just wanted to make sure I had a wedding ring on. And I knew that the ring was here in the house somewhere. I didn't take it off outside of the house. I just knew it was here and I knew I'd eventually find it. So I found it and then about three weeks ago, I lost it again and I don't anyway I don't really know how I lost it Chelsea just stole my phone <laughs> little conniving thieves anyway so when we were pulling these couches out I joked with Jason look for my wedding ring down in here and that was kind of a, a joke because I don't take my ring off randomly when I take it off I'm either washing my face or I'm doing dishes and so either at nighttime going to bed or in the morning when I'm doing dishes. So I have two different spots that I put it in each of those locations. So I knew sitting on the couch, pulling out these couches, <coughs> wouldn't have been a spot that I would have found the ring. So I joked with Jason, let's look for the ring before we vacuum all this crud up off the floor. And mind you, this is 10.30 at night now that mm -hmm. we're finally cleaning up this mess. And So I'm slowly vacuuming as he's slowly picking things up off the floor. And I said, look in that pile before I vacuum it up. So look what I found. Hi, Dad. I found, oh, Jason just called. So I found my ring. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, so what must have happened is that I probably fell asleep on the couch and I fiddle with my ring a lot. And especially at the end of the day, if my fingers are kind of swollen or if I'm dehydrated or something, I kind of will fiddle with it to make sure that I can get it off at night. And I must have fallen asleep on the couch and had been fiddling with it. So it's just on the tip of my finger and it probably just slipped down in the crack while I was sleeping and I didn't even, it didn't occur to me when I went to bed that I hadn't taken it off in my normal spot. That cute little mouse that left poop all over my floor and my couch kind of saved the day and found my wedding ring, which was kind of awesome, kind of a fun story. Yeah. So now I don't have to wear that dinky $10 ring anymore. I can wear my, both my actual wedding ring. And you can wear both. No, I won't wear both, but anyway, kind of an awesome story. Um, I am gonna go upstairs to take a shower, but I'm gonna see if there's any clothes in my closet that I can get rid of. Like I said, I'm still on this declutter kick, 
for this activity tomorrow night and it was really fun to do the office because those are the things that I haven't been wanting to do because they're kind of tucked away and out of sight, out of mind, but they were bothering me. So I went ahead and take, took care of them. So anyway, this is long. We don't need to go on. Let's watch Abby. <laughs> filming you. You're good at it. My arm just hurts. I wish she would let me film her more because she's super cute. Oh, the teenage glare. She has an activity tonight for church. So I'm going to make sure she's ready to go and I'm going to go get myself cleaned up. So let's go. All right. So I'm here in my closet. I don't know. I feel like I've been decluttering my clothes a lot lately. So I don't know if I'm going to find anything that I want to get rid of. I do need to get rid of these shorts up, or these pants up here. It's a little ridiculous. I still hang on to these jeans. I think I have hopes that maybe next year Ashley will be willing to do jeans. I mean, look at these jeans, you guys. Look, you got to see the cutest part about them. Look at the ruffle. <laughs> I wish my kids, I bet these don't even fit her anymore. What size is it? 4T. I don't know. They're so cute. Look at the ruffle and the cute bum. I don't know. Maybe I should just make a jean quilt out of them. Okay, so memories aside, I'm going to try and see if there's anything in here that I can get rid of. And then we'll take a shower and get done for the night. All right, so I went ahead and actually pulled some of Jason's as well. On my side, you really can't tell a huge difference, but I did pull some of mine. So Ashley's here. She's going to help me take off the hanger. So this is what I took away. But part of... <laughs> I'm going to take these away, and luckily I'm a week ahead on my videos. So it's going to take Jason about a week to find out that I got rid of some of these things. He hates these polos when they stop losing their shape and they won't stay down. And he like grumps about it all the time, but he won't get rid of them. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then like some of them, the collar is like so, you can't really tell. They can tell in the gray one. So on this one, it's like actually got holes in it. So he likes these shirts, but they're only like 10 bucks at Target. So I'm going to get him some new ones. And actually this is American Eagle, but I'm going to get him some new ones because those ones are just not presentable anymore. Okay, ignore the yelling kids out in the other room. They're having fun. But I got a whole trash bag here, and then I've got all these empty hangers I'll take down. Gotta hide the evidence. You can't know that I got rid of that many of his shirts. But if I put these hangers right into the laundry room, he won't notice right away. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> Ashley. Yeah. Bye. Okay, brush my hair. This is how they get to stay up late. Do you guys ever do this? They get to stay... Oh, you're being a goober. They get to stay up late if they brush my hair. Ashley, brush my hair. Goober. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah. So, we are going to end this video. I'm very tired. They seem to have a little too much energy for my liking tonight. Being wild. Yeah, you're a little wild right now. Because we've been lazy and we still have energy. They do. We're going to end this video. I think I got a lot done in terms of decluttering. Is I might do some more tomorrow. We'll just see if that happens. But I'm excited to see what other people bring and how much they get decluttered at their houses. I've heard, heard from a few friends that they're excited for what they're getting rid of and um, things that they've wanted to clean out for a long time. And now they have the motivation to get it done. So I think... It's serving its purpose. And today was a rainy day, so I think that kind of helped some people. Couldn't really go outside and enjoy being outside. Was, so I think like, a lot of people might have gotten a lot done today. So, Ashley, take us out. Good night. The guys, click the notification. And go over to my Instagram so that you can leave comments because my comments are still turned off. And, I don't have and come back for more, right? Good night.